some guard dog. There's one thing they don't tell you when you get a pit bull is that they require extreme <laughs> cuddles. Whoop. We are Steven and Jessica, and this is Kobe's story for GeoBeats. We got married in 2021, and we wanted to rescue a dog. Kobe! Huh? Kobe was dumped at the shelter at about four weeks. High five. He was with a group of breeders who bred pit bulls, and his litter was a litter of eight. They weren't pure pit bulls, so they were just put into a shelter. Dumped at the front door. The typical put in a box, turn away, and don't look back. <laughs> A group here on Long Island called Ollie's Angels who reached out to the shelter and said, we'll take him all. The first time we got to hold him, he just sunk in our arms. What are you doing, Cole? He's mostly American Stafford Terrier or Pitbull. He was the only color in his litter that is a tan. All of the other puppies were all gray and white. From meeting him, within an hour, we were able to bring him home. Bring him back. He had trouble sleeping the first few nights, so we got him one of those stuffed animals that's warm and has the heartbeat, and that really comforted him. He's like a little child that we've raised. Over the two years that we've had him, he is a part of the family. Kobe's always with us, and if he can't go with us, forget it. We get the sad look. I call him his human eyes that just look so sad. Kobe, you love the belly rub? You can sense his emotion just through his eyes and his eyebrows. Where's Grandma? It's like looking at a person. You know exactly what he's feeling just based on his eyes alone. <laughs> You definitely see the effects of him being taken away from his mother so young. He likes to nibble on blankets. Can I have your blankie? We also have a cat named Rocky. We rescued him and his sister from under a dumpster about 13 years ago. Kobe thinks they're playing all the time, and Rocky just wants nothing to do with him. Oh. Kobe is super protective. I'm actually pregnant, so since becoming pregnant, he follows me all around the house. Every time I sit down, he rests his head on my bum, so he's become very much protective of his future little sister. I always had cats growing up, so this was a new experience for me. Grandma's coming over? Yeah? No, she's not here yet. She's not here yet. No. <laughs> not here yet, okay? Kobe definitely turned me into a dog person. <laughs> but he's definitely a daddy's boy. Kobe is like the son that I never had. He starts looking out the window about 20 minutes before Daddy gets home. And Daddy walks through the door and it's playtime and it's fun time and Daddy gets all the hugs and the kisses. Kobe right now is currently lying on his back playing with my thumb. Oh, what are you doing? I'm the bad parent. Oh, what are you doing? I spend all day disciplining him and telling him what not to do. He's become such an important part of my every day. If I have a tough day at work, it's nice coming home to a beautiful wife, but it's also nice coming home to somebody that you know is guaranteed going to greet you with excitement and hugs and kisses. Daddy is number one in his eyes. I think he'll always be a daddy's boy.